Hey, in this lecture, you're going to learn about the flex property, which allows you to set the width of the items according to the width of the entire container, meaning that they will become responsive. That unlike our current items, which stay the same regardless of the width of the container. So if we want all of these items to stretch across the entire container and grow and shrink with it, we'll simply target the items with dot container, select all the direct children, which also are divs, and then give them a flex property of one. And as you can see, they now take up an equal amount of space, a third each, and they grow and shrink with the size of the container. Now, there's a little bit of magic here, as flex is actually a shorthand for three other properties. They are flex grow, flex shrink, and flex basis. However, I don't want to dwell about this now, because I think there are other parts of Flexbox that are more important to learn before you jump into understanding these three. So we'll start by using Flex the easy way, and then in a later screencast, I'll explain these three in depth. But for now, I'll just keep them here to remind you that this is a shorthand. Now, setting Flex to 1 is much better than the old way of doing it, where you'd probably set the width to a percentage, like this example still works however now you have to change this number whenever you wanted to add a new item in the container whereas with flex you can simply add as many items as you want and flexbox will take care of doing the maths for you and making all of them responsive so let's actually try that out we'll turn on the flex again and Let's simply add a fourth item here. We'll call it profile. Let's run the code. And as you can see, Flex automatically allocates space for all of the items according to how we've specified it here. Now each of them take up 25% of the width and they grow and shrink with the container. We can also target specific items. Let's say that, for example, we want the search item here to be twice as wide as the rest of the items then we'll simply do container search and set flex to two and as you can see it's now twice as wide as the three other items the reason i'm specifying container and then the child of that container which I have the class of search is because doing just dot search wouldn't work as this selector here is more specific than this one. And that's how CSS works. Works If this one is more specific, given that it has both a class name and tag name, its styling will be prioritized above the less specific styling added here. That's only using just a class name. So let's use both dot .container and the child of the container as the class of search. So that was just a little digression about CSS selectors. So while this example here is nice for learning, I can say that I very often use this way of creating layouts where all of the items are one and then some of them are two or three or whatever. What I've found to be a more realistic use case is to have one of the items doing all the flexing while the others stay at a fixed width. And we can achieve that by simply removing the flex one on all the items except the search. Now, as you can see, the home logout and profile have a fixed width, while the search item is growing and shrinking with the width of the container. And now we can also remove the specification here and just use dot .search. Okay, now I want to give you a little task. And before that, I'm going to remove this profile item so that we only have three. Now, as you can see, the search in the middle does all the flexing while the home and logout are fixed width. What I want you to do now is to make this layout do the exact opposite, meaning that the search item will have a fixed width while the home and the logout will grow as you widen the container. So pause the screencast and do that. And when you come back, I'm going to show you how I would do it. Okay, so hopefully you paused the screencast and did the task. Now I'm gonna show you how I would do it. So I'll start by making the search item fixed width again. To do that, I can just remove this here and here. Now it's fixed width, and rather give this value to the home icon. Now that is doing all the flexing. And what I also want to do now is to change this to 1. 
because when this is the only item doing the flexing, it doesn't matter if this is one or two or a hundred or a thousand or whatever you want. And therefore, I think it's easiest to just have it as one. Now we also have to give the same behavior to the logout item. So I'll simply do logout. And just as that, we have both the home and the logout item growing and shrinking while the search has a fixed width. Now, I really don't know why you would create a layout like this, but this is at least how you would do it. And that was it for this lecture. I'll see you in the next one.